how should women swimmers take care during periods uh, yes so um, this is a very uh, good thing that nowadays women who want to continue exercising or who are into aerobics or who do regular swimming during their cycles they can use menstrual products that are easily available and most common menstrual product which is used during this time is a tampon if it is used correctly it is very good for them even menstrual cup uh, use has been uh, recently uh, upcoming in india and these two are the products that can be used by swimmers if correctly used if correctly placed if changed according to the timeline that it should be changed it will not cause any infection no discomfort if on the contrary if you want to use pad at the time of swimming it will not only soak uh, the swimming pool also but the pad gets swollen with water it will uh, lead to more of uh, unhygienic uh, condition for you you will become more clumsy there are more chances of infections maybe rashes uh due to uh, use of the pad so if if you are using a tampon or a menstrual cup it is a very good alternative to using maybe cloth pads or any other uh, menstrual product that you are using during your menstrual cycle should women avoid exercising during the first few days of periods see exercise is considered to be healthy during all days of the month irrespective of your menstrual cycle exercise also leads to production of endorphins these are positive hormones so women who have a tendency to go into depression who go anxious who have psychological changes or who say that we have lot of mood swings during this time period there is nothing which works 100% at this time neither medication so we need to use combination of different things means uh, good food good hydration uh, good sleep and so many other factors together will help you cope up during this time what are the menstrual hygiene steps for sanitary pads or tampons so tampons i think is the most commonly used product for menstruation worldwide it has many advantages uh, only thing is that what uh, what you need to take care of it is that it should be changed every 4 to 6 hours you should not be sleeping with it or you should not uh, think that i don't need to change because the flow is not so much but every 6 hours if you are changing then it is very healthy other than that the right technique to be used it is a cylindrical uh, cylindrical device which can be placed in the vagina it goes smoothly inside it can be removed easily but if you forget to remove it there are chances that it will cause infection one of the very dreaded infections that we see due to this lost tampon or uh, which you have forgotten is called toxic shock syndrome and this is uh, this is quite severe and sometimes even mostly you need admission for this other than that tampon is very uh, very advantageous it will not soak your clothes you will not feel untidy you can travel anywhere you can go for swimming you can go for gymming you will not feel uncomfortable if you are comfortable in using this product what is toxic shock syndrome so toxic shock syndrome is basically a kind of vaginal infection it happens due to some bacteria which is streptococcus and this is when the tampon has been left behind sometimes women forget you are working you have so many other uh, multiple tasking at the same time and when you leave it inside this is blood blood which is mixed with the tampon it is a very good culture media for the bacteria to grow and the bacteria will grow very fast we have seen that any food which has been left outside gets infected either bacterial or fungal infection so here what is predominant is the bacterial infection and the best medium for it to grow is the blood only so we need to remove it this is very important for tampon users that every 6 hours please change your tampon Thank you.